Mic check. Mic check. Oh, that's actually not loud enough. Damn. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. check. Do you know what mic stands for? I don't. What does it stand for? Uh, Michael. I'm Michael. Stuffy, and I don't know why. I wasn't when I woke up. <laughs> Wait, say that again. Uh, I'm a little stuffy. <laughs> There he is. Shit. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Today, we're putting a muffler delete exhaust kit on my Infinity Q50. The first real mod other than the puddle lights. Now, I want to answer a couple questions up front that you guys may have. Like, my muffler shop down the street can do this for $100, and the product you put in the description is like $230. What the hell? Hear me out. If you have an OEM dealer warranty or an extended warranty like myself, it would behoove you to be able to put your original muffler back on. And the reason I say that is because the turbos on these cars fail a lot and you don't want to pay five grand to replace that. The engines on these fail sometimes. You don't want to pay 20 grand to replace that. And the transmissions on these fail sometimes and you don't want to pay $10,000 to replace that. That's a lot of expensive things that you would really like to have covered under warranty. Therefore, it might be worth it to spend the extra $100 to get a full muffler delete kit to be able to put your old muffler back on in case something fails so that the warranty company or infinity themselves cannot say well it's modified so we're not going to honor our warranty that's bullshit just because it's a muffler delete it's literally an axle back it's not going to affect anything but they'll use anything they can get to save money capitalism baby Ugh. get in here pussy i'm right fuck you <laughs> so let's go ahead with a little bit of Unboxing time! All right, turn it down one. I'll just balance it. It's okay. Well, whatever. It in post. Yeah, fuck it in post. This is me fucking it in post. It's open. We huh? did it. Oh, these actually look clean as hell. Look at this. We got the hanger. Little, if it'll hold up. I gotta jerk it off. There we go. <laughs> Got the uh, hanger. We got the tip. That tip is mean looking, dude. My, I got a mean tip for you. <laughs> got my mean tip. Hey, you want to touch tips? Hey, babe. <laughs> All right, guys. Time for me to go away for the rest of the video. All right, we're gonna do a before and after. Uh, according to Simon, this before is gonna be really <laughs> underwhelming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you weren't fucking lying, bud. Virtually inaudible. Another thing interesting to note about these cars, they have two catalytic converters on each pipe, a total of four, which means that putting a complete muffler delete on this car is not going to sound super raspy like a lot of people think it might. And like on the naturally aspirated VQ37 and 35, Usually just a muffler delete will sound kind of raspy. On these ones, it won't because there's so many fucking catalytic converters. So that's the reason why I chose this because it's cheaper than most other options to get the amount of noise I want. So here we go. Somebody bonked this. Oh shit, that's cool. Yeah, that's a huge dent. <laughs> oh guys, I have a cool news. Look at that. Those there are studs, brother. Hell yeah. You see the back? When you don't see a bolt head on the back, that means there's oh. studs. Hey guys. Huh? It's no under the car. I'm doing things. Mechanic boy. No, it's a 14. It is. Oh my goodness, it's a 14. Say less. The good news is this car is only from 2019, so it's not rusty like Noah's. Look out, brother. Oh, the fuck? It's my uh, muffler fluid. I'm gonna have to replace that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if your muffler leaks, there's no such thing as muffler fluid. Just a... Just a tip. If your father-in-law tells you you need blinker fluid or muffler fluid, they're both fake. Boy, what the hell, boy? Yeah, so that leaking there, you guys, is just condensation from your muffler being cold in the morning and then exhaust flowing through it. And fully treated exhaust, especially when it's been treated by two catalytic converters, usually has some moisture in it. So, never fear. So, Boy, this bitch is heavy. We're definitely doing some weight reduction too. <laughs> yeah, for real. Look at that bitch. That bitch huge. And these gaskets on here, uh, oh, you just take them off like that. The kit comes with the same ones. 
Ta-da. Let me grab my new gaskets and my new pipes. The kit comes with bolts and nuts, but because my car is not rusty, I can just reuse the studs and nuts that I already had. I don't come with bolts. No. I do come with nuts though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have one bolt. I have one bolt. Slap a gasket on here. Now, here's to hoping that these hangers fit. They come in from the other direction, so you should probably get your hanger aligned first. And the hanger's giving me some difficulties. It appears to fit properly, or at least properly enough to work. Oh boy. Guys, if your hangers are giving you issues like mine kind of are, it doesn't hurt to put a little WD-40 in them, lube them up. Is that not on all the way? Because it looks like it's on all the way over here. It is. I just want to make sure the hanger's not stressed. Oh, because okay, uh, then it sense. won't wear out. And I'm just going to reuse these nuts because they're actually in really good condition. How does the exit look? Is it bumping? <sighs> it looks like it is contacting the bumper a little bit. Maybe tightening it down will fix that. Yeah, it is a little bit. Let's see. Some of these cheaper kits are... The exit's not great. Ooh. Okay, there we go. That Did actually, it get better? It made it better. Yeah, at first it made it a little worse. Yeah, a lot of these cheaper kits, I was a little bit interested to see how well this huh. actually exited. Because if it contacts your bumper, it looks like it... Yeah, it... it yeah. It's contacting a little. I don't think that's enough to cause you to hear anything in there or to necessarily melt anything. But I will say the exit on this looks really nice. It does. I like that. Because these ones, you can see it's a smaller pipe that goes into a tip. And the tip doesn't actually do anything for the volume. It's just kind of a piece of tin wrapped around the exit. These ones are real, which is kind of cool. All right, guys, watch this. A little bit of this in here. This on there. That's what I'm talking about, Daddy. Oh, fuck, baby. That's so easy. Say less. Astroglide, sponsor me. Hello. Can you imagine if Astroglide started making like a WD-40 type product? Only market, dude. That would be hilarious. I, I don't know what Astroglide is. When my turbo's engine or transmission have a catastrophic failure, I'm keeping my big homie here, all right? with the gaskets in case I need them for some reason. Not a hard install at all. Literally four nuts. I really like it. I think that sounds fucking awesome. It sounds very nice. Let's go for a drive, see what drone is like. Hell yeah. All right guys, we're on the highway right now. Slowing down. So when you downshift, in manumatic or slap shift, <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. And when you get real hard on it, it almost feels like it's got more noise from zero to 3,500 RPMs. And then above that, it doesn't. Yeah, the noise inside the cab is not bad. I will also say that um, these cars have like engine noise pumped into the cabin. Hey, editing Simon here. Got an interesting tidbit for you guys. I went into the secret menu of the car that allows you to turn off that engine noise that's pumped into the cab, and the option wasn't there for me. And so upon further research, I discovered that unless you have a Bose sound system in the car, you actually don't have the engine noise pumped in at all. So you actually don't have to worry about it if you have a signature edition or maybe one or two other editions. I'm not completely sure. But if you have a little Bose label on all of your speakers, then you will need to look up a video on how to turn off the engine noise in the cab if you want to. So yeah, just a little tidbit for you guys. The drone is basically non-existent. Like I'm on the highway right now going 60. I don't hear Jack Dipney shit. No idea or anything? No. It just, to me, it just sounds like the normal amount of road noise from the run flat tires that are already loud as shit. Maybe if I had nicer tires, it wouldn't be like this. To me, the exhaust is really only when you want it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's like audible enough to be like, ooh, that sounds cool, but not audible enough to be like, my eardrums, hello, I can't hear my music. <laughs> the Civic is like that. Holy shit, dude. I took the Civic on the highway the other day for the first time since our new exhaust. Mm -hmm. Damn, brother, that shit was oh, deafening. So I'm in manual mode now. You can hear it. Yeah. Sounds nice. 
I'll do a downshift. Sounds pretty good. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds fucking sweet. I love the way that sounds. I'm not trying to film random people's cars, so enjoy my feet. I don't know how far away the audio works, but I've never actually spun my tires, especially not in second gear. <laughs> I got very excited. <laughs> Office time. What'd you guys think? That was pretty spicy. Let us know in the compliments. That's right. That section down below where you can type stuff, that's called the compliments. No mean stuff. The compliments section. <laughs> Only allowed to say nice things. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and slizgribe. Hey! Hey! Don't forget to check out our skits and vlogs, funny goofs channel. Link in description. Podcast channel. Link in description. Gaming channel. Link in description. And our Instagram. Link in description. All down in the description, like he said. Link's in the description. Shoot dang boy there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye!